Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you watched my previous videos on R. If this is the first time you are watching my videos, make sure you subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Okay, today let's work on the concept of linear and nonlinear regression. So, what is linear regression? It means letter A we have an equation with a constant slope. For instance, simple linear regression relates two variables, x and y, with a straight line, while nonlinear regression relates the two variables in a nonlinear curved relationship. Okay, so this is the equation I'm gonna use to describe the linear regression. Here, alpha is the intercept and beta is the slope of the line. That means the slope is constant for the entire equation for the line. I am taking the example where we are plotting the relationship between age and weight. So, here you can see the data distribution in blue color points. And here we notice that if we fit a line literally something like this and we have a constant intercept and then the slope is beta and we are predicting the weight based on this model. Did you notice something here? Yes, we are not actually fitting data quite well with the predicted line. Because there's a nonlinear relationship which looks like a curve. So, what can we do in this case? Well, now we rely on the nonlinear regression. That means we are including a nonlinear variable. So, for instance, in this case, a better fit of the data would look like that weight is equal to alpha, the intercept, plus beta times h plus gamma times h to the power of 2. Right, so now what are we actually doing over here? Well, we can see that the coefficient of the age depends on which age we are talking about. So, the change in the weight relative to the change in age meaning at what age are we trying to predict the weight? So, let's assume we need to check the weight of young one. Then that means for young one, the age is low and this leads to have a positive effect. And let's check this on the graph. So, for young age, that means in the first part of the graph, when the age increases, the weight increases. So, in this range over there, when we have a positive relationship between age and weight, the slope is gradually going up. Then at the middle age, we can see that there's no change of weight with age at the middle part of the plot. And after a certain point, we can see a diminishing effect on weight with the age. Here we notice that weight decreases with age which means now that the slope is negative. That should be, well, because as now the age is quite high, people are quite old and they are already weak in health and their body is not growing like earlier. So now they are not gaining weight but losing their weight. This is a practical example and this is how we can use nonlinear model by including a quadratic term. Also keep in mind that a quadratic function has a parabolic effect. Here the data points also look like a parabola. So we can include this quadratic term in our model. The effect of age on weight is going to change for the entire range because in this graph we have different kind of slopes. Positive, negative and flat slopes. So the effect of age on weight is going to differ for different specific ages. I really hope you guys learned the concept of linear and nonlinear regression using a real world example. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notifications for more videos. Thank you.